Any news on Mike? Nothing. No clues either. You know where he disappeared? Maybe I could take a look. As a matter of fact, I do. I could use a pair of fresh eyes on this. And I trust you. Let me mark the area on your map. I'll let you know if I find anything. wounds? Our infected didn't do that. Looks like you were ambushed and left for dead, Mike. Worse, left in the dark so you'd turn. Just killing you wasn't enough for these bastards. I should take these to Driscoll. What's going on? Turn on, damn it. What's going on? Nothing, unfortunately. Electricity's back on in the old transformer room, but can't get it working for me. Think the fuse is blue. This was my chance to bring her back to life. What, come again? My wife, Megan. With the electricity, she will live again. So, you mean to bring your wife back from the dead? She'll be with me again. She'll bring the groceries. We'll cook together and, and talk long into the night. But how, if... if she's... well, um... Oh, how we'll laugh. And watch movies till sunrise. Okay, I give up. Where are the fuses? Downstairs. There are loads of infected. I, I tried to get it myself, but... 
I got gotcha. you. I'll do what I can. Give you everything precious that I have left. My Megan is all that matters to me. I'll be waiting in our apartment. It's just below us. Hello? I fixed the fuses. Try it now. Wait! Wait a second! Death! She's alive! My Megan is alive! Come, save yourself! All right. your voice again, Megan. There were no crinkle cup fries, so I bought plain ones. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? <laughs> sure. They could be plain. Why don't we watch something tonight? I'll be home soon. Bye. Is that your wife? Yes. My Megan. My beloved Megan. We're watching a movie together tonight. Can you recommend anything? I think you should let Megan choose. You're right. Thanks for the help. Me and Megan, we're so very grateful. I have some of her jewelry. She hasn't been dressing up much lately. Please, take it. I don't need it. And it sure means a lot to you. She does look quite stunning wearing it. Thank you. I'm glad you're together again.
You back? You find anything? Letters. Took them off an infected in a carrier's uniform. Fuck, Mike. I mean, it's dangerous out there. But fuck! It's worse than that. The infected didn't kill him. He was stabbed and left to turn. Intentionally. So he was attacked. Well, that happens. As respected as we are, we're targeted for robbery because of the information we carry. People are always trying to disrupt the network. It wasn't a robbery. Since his deliveries were still on him, he must have been targeted. Mike didn't have any enemies. Well, based on all the disappearances lately, it's probably not Mike who has enemies. You mean someone's targeting the guild itself? No one would have the nerve. But what if they did? What then? If the guild were brought down, so would the network. There'd be chaos. Then we'd all better watch each other's backs. Hey, Professor. Got any new deliveries for me? Sure do. Here they are. And what about any history lessons? Maybe another time. The way things are going around here, I need to focus on the here and now. Ah, well, I totally get that. Okay, later. <sighs> Package for you. Ferris, come quick. The stork's arrived. The stork's arrived. That's not a stork, honey. That's the carrier. Nonsense. I know a stork when I see one. And it's brought our beautiful baby. Our gorgeous son. Huh? That's right, Tani. He's beautiful. Look, he's yawning. I bet he's tired from his journey. You should put him to bed. Oh. But I want to rock him and hug him and squeeze him. And oh, look, Ferris, look at those little apple cheeks. I could just eat him up. That's right, Mummy could just eat up her little boy. Nom, 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 nom. Sweetheart? Oh. But you're right. I'll put him to bed. Still there, buddy? Just tell me I didn't just deliver a baby. No. Don't worry, it's just a doll. Oh, Ferris! His eyes! He has your eyes! I told you he would, honey. What's going on? Look, buddy, my wife recently lost our real son in childbirth. She hasn't been the same since. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. But for her, it hasn't quite sunk in yet, so someone recommended getting a doll for her to care for. That seems crazy, but we hope it might help her heal. Your son just pooped, Ferris. He even has the cutest poops. How sweet. Look, we just need some privacy, so uh, please keep this under your hat. Here's a little extra. I can't take this. Anyway, it'd be a violation of my carrier's oath if I said anything. I know, but look, she needs a doll to feel better, and I need this, so just take it. Understood. Thank you. So you're Driscoll's new golden boy. And you are? Someone who's had his eye on you. I get that a lot. Smart ass. You're not much to look at. Now let me guess. You're Derek. And the flesh, loser. Carriers used to be heroes. That insignia used to mean something. Well, it sounds to me like your behavior wasn't all that heroic when you were a carrier. Fine. I made some mistakes, but I believed in what we did. Not like you, fucking pilgrim. I know what you're after. You're just trying to get some information and then bail. Maybe that's how it started, but that's not how it is now. Bullshit! I'm gonna show them what being a real carrier is all about. Teach everyone a lesson. And you? You're cocky. You'll slip up. And I'll be there when you do, pilgrim.
Package for you. Thank you. Holy. I can't believe he got it. What's that? My fiance's ring. It was lost. Lost? I lost her. She was wearing it when the power went out. By the time it was back on, she turned and fled into the night. That's terrible. It was on her shambling corpse. Knowing that thing was wearing it, the ring I gave her tore me up. It was an obscenity. But I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't face her. Not like that. So who got a hold of the ring? Dinesh. He promised he'd track her down and get it for me. He came through. Dinesh would have been my best man. He's my best friend. Well, sounds like it. Hopefully you can start to put this past you. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. What? There's a note in here. It's from Dinesh's sister. She says... She says... D Dinesh was out too long. He was already turning when he came back. They had to kill him. But they found the ring clutched in his hand. Oh, I... I don't know what to say.
Here are your books. Not my books, dear boy. Our books. Humanity's books. The world is collectively sighing right now due to your efforts, and it doesn't even know why. This tale, your tale, will be the next great epic, and it's only begun. Ah, the Bible. I mean, well, that's like the book, right? Few books have shaped the world as profoundly as the Bible. Hmm, Hans Christian Andersen and his fairy tales. Powerful stories of virtue and resilience. Children's tales, yes, but containing wisdom for all. You have just rescued the collective unconscious of the Western world. Thanks to you, the fire in the belly of humanity burns brighter today. Let's stoke it more, shall we? Thalia there is my associate. She helps me track the collections around the city. She will point you to the next locations as I catalog the books you bring me. Hi, Aiden. I'm Thalia. So, you're the pilgrim Albert told me is helping us rebuild humanity's library. I am. Albert's a wonderful man. I only hope others will appreciate what he's trying to do. We're not in the middle of the Renaissance, you know. Few people read. What about you? What about me? Do you read? Afraid not. No time. Well-traveled, but not well-read? Disappointing. Let's see what experience is made of you. Then tell me what you think. Between the Bible and Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales, which would you consider a better guide to human behavior? It depends on who you are, and what you need to get by, doesn't it? Thoughtfully answered. Seems there's more to you than meets the eye. And what meets the eye is pleasing enough. You're a breath of fresh air, Aiden. We must talk again next time you bring back books for Albert. Speaking of which, here are the locations of more books.
them. My research was spot on. Here, we have the complete works of William Shakespeare. His stories are some of the most often retold and adapted in history. So universal were his themes. His tragedies were the most popular. Hmm. Are we humans drawn to tragedy? Hmm. Something to reflect upon. The Arabian Nights. Originally, 1001 Nights. A seminal collection of stories, folk tales, and songs that span a continent over several centuries. It is a melting pot of literature, sometimes fantastical, often violent. Not unlike life in our own city, more monumental achievements secured from destruction. <laughs> Let's keep at it. I believe Thalia already has readied a new list. Hello, Aiden. I see you've brought back a collection of Shakespeare's works for Albert. Are you familiar with Romeo and Juliet? I guess. Tell me, do you believe in love? I mean, true love. The faded love of which Shakespeare wrote. Are you kidding me? That's just crap. Love doesn't play in the real world. How sad. Not a romantic bone in your body, it seems. Speaking to you, Aiden, has once again been a revelation. I look forward to your next visit. It's a welcome break for me. For you too, I hope. Here's a new list. Watch out for yourself. You know what Kate told me about Casey? Yeah, I have. You have to wait. Keep in mind nothing.
men have developed a taste for human flesh. You're siding with the enemy. Someday they should be pushed, you weakling. Save me, somebody! I'm being jailed for my innocence. <laughs> I'm not going back to that. The infected will... Get the hog! Oh, my every night you know what I'm so I was thinking what would you say about meeting up tomorrow evening Paris is that's why I'm here when I started I was younger than you I thought I'd call the world by the tail and that's what we said More of humanity's legacy restored and protected. The Bhagavad Gita is the controversial Krishna Bible. The warrior god Krishna tells us that he is responsible for our actions. We are a part of him, extensions of his thoughts and desires. It challenges the concept of free will and personal responsibility. Karl Marx's Communist Manifesto is one of the most influential political documents of all time. I wonder what he would say about class struggles in our own day and age, and unique circumstances. Thank you for these, Aiden. I'm afraid we haven't found any new noteworthy collections for you yet, but keep an open channel. I will radio you the moment we have it. You're back? What the hell happened? Infected? No, met Derek. Cheerful fellow. Not resentful at all. So, you talked. Do you think he's behind Mike's death and the other disappearances? Yeah, could be. Seems to have it out for the entire outfit, even though he claims to revere it. And he knows enough to understand what would happen if the guild were destroyed. 
That makes him very dangerous. So where is he? I don't know. I didn't follow him after. Came straight back here. There's more reasons to be careful, then. No use waiting around for something bad to happen. You have any deliveries for me? I do. But remember, you have more than Derek to worry about out there. Don't worry, Professor. Postmen have been delivering in adverse conditions for thousands of years. The paths we walk become roads. Isn't that the saying? Well, aye, but the roads better not be bustling with the infected. Especially the types we're seeing now. Reports of new and, frankly, terrifying new creatures. Yeah, I've seen plenty. God help us. I wouldn't hold your breath for that.
Carriers Guild. Thank you. Wait a moment, won't you please? Is someone at the door, Giselle? No, Mother. I was just locking it. Thank you for the letter. It's from my love, Kelt. He lives on the other side of the city. We belong together. But my parents forbid it. Ah, uh, yeah. Seems like a local fashion these days. But uh, I'm not sure what I can do for you. For one, you can just listen. I have no one else to talk to. Okay. And you can have this letter delivered. If he could afford to leave his family, we would be together. But he can't. So I'll go to him. The letter says where he should meet me. Okay. I'll take this back to the guild. Mm. Uh. The PKs 
sure this time the renegades this time. This will bring trouble for sure. To thy realm, a child which, according to your mysterious plan, you have taken from us. Mail for you, sir. Thanks. About time. Been quiet around here lately. Oh, honey, I, I could have gotten that. Stop that, Tanya. Don't you treat me like I'm useless, too. I, I didn't mean that. I, I just, just remember, I only lost a leg. I didn't become one of, one of those things. N no. No. But, um... Well, um, who, who's the letter from? HQ. And I can tell you what it says before I open it. Yep. I've been booted. No longer fit for duty. No. Oh, honey. Oh, shut up. I don't need your pity. What I need is something to fucking do. Right now, I'm just a lame horse waiting to be shot. Well, maybe just give it some time, honey. There's plenty someone in your condition can... What did I just say? None of your fucking pity. I may have lost my leg, but I can still chase you down. I still got two hands to slap you with. So shut your fucking mouth! Hey, hot shot. How deliveries go? Uh, the usual. Well, I was given a letter. I'll make sure that's processed. Thanks, Professor. Bloody hell, you're just scrambling up the ladder here. A few more rungs and you're gonna get promoted again. <laughs> 